Hi guys, this is Thunder E from borderwork.com and today I'm going to show you how to update your original Surface, so the Surface 1, basically Surface RT, to Windows 8.1. Uh, if you are a Surface user and you have Windows 8, of course, on your system, you can update to Windows 8.1. It is free and available for you right now. The update should be available in the Microsoft uh, Store. But if it's not at, on the store, I can, I can show you a link where you can get the update. So the first thing you do, of course, is turn on your system and you go to store. So I'm just going to click on that. And it says here, update to Windows 8.1 for free. So that is the very simple, basic way to do the update. But if that is not available, you can go to the web browser. And of course, just use the link in the description below. And that takes you here to this uh, Microsoft site that says get the update. And you just click on that. And that will take you back to the store where the update is available. So here's the update. It's uh, 2.1 uh, gigabytes uh, for the RT version uh, as compared to, of course, standard Windows 8, which, is 3 point, which was 3.26. So we're going to hit download. Now the download of the update depends on your internet connection speed. So if you have a fast connection, your download, of course, will, uh, will be faster. And if you don't have one, it would be slower. So we're going to go through uh, the setup process here for you, show you how to set it up. And then, of course, we do a separate video with the different applications on there, things like Facebook, which is available right now, and some of the new updated applications on Windows 8.1. So uh, let's jump forward. All right, so we've gone through the f major part of the update. Now, it did take longer than I expected. Uh, the download took about 30 minutes, and the upload, the update itself took about 45, which is much longer than I would have expected. But go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. Use Express Settings. And setting up the account. So this should take a few more minutes and then you should start. Yeah, sign into our account. There we go. So we put in the code and continue. All right, so we're done with the verification code. Now SkyDrive and um, SkyDrive Storage Sync. And we should be able to finalize our settings and jump into Windows 8.1 on our Surface. Just has a few more things to do. All right, so we have Windows 8.1 on our system here. A couple of new features, as you will see, is that we can now change the image in our start screen. So first of all, we just need to download an image. And it also has some new Q prompts for you while um, you fire up the system showing you what new things you can do, things like that. So as I mentioned, one of the new features is of course customizing your start screen with the desktop background. So you can go into settings, personalize, and that's the image from our desktop. We can select that there. So we have this image. It's our desktop background. Um, the update was quite long and quite extensive uh, i'd say almost two hours in total which i did not expect uh, but which is also much longer than the standard uh, pro version but you do have all those features and we'll go over a lot of the features in our review of windows 8.1 and what we expect to see but the main simple changes is of course the desktop um, background on your start screen the ability to have the start button also on the left hand corner there and uh, of course we will also mention other features so if you have any questions about the update of uh, windows 8.1 onto your surface rt let us know uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube so border work with 2.0 so 
This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.